against all odds, Sakuraoka is overcoming the Macedonian army in what is undoubtedly one of the tightest and most intense battles I've ever played. Not only have these nomadic underdogs managed to defeat the Macedonian cavalry, but now they are also prevailing against a vastly more powerful infantry. Stay tuned to witness the epic conclusion of this battle as it narrows down to just three units. Let's now take a look at these armies. As Saka, I've assembled a force comprising five light and affordable horse archers, three light shock cavalry with an exceptionally high charge bonus, five spear archers and one heavily armored archer. Additionally, I've enlisted five levy Saka spears, five medium oplites, five heavy oplites, along with some economical Saka axes, and five heavy shock spear melee infantry, I guess, DI. And of course, my one and only cataphract, which also happens to be my general. On the opposing side, Macedon fields three Yera Hile. One is his general with 200 men, two Tarentine cavalry, four now hidden slingers poised to counter my light cavalry, five Turio swords, two Agrianian axemen, four formidable Pelta spikes, two Galatian thorax, five white shields, one light spear. 4 Thorax Spears, 2 Thracian Infantry Units, and ultimately 5 Therio Spears. Now looking at the army composition and the balance of power, I've got a pretty big challenge. Our infantry may not be the best, and a direct confrontation with the Macedonian one may very well result in a complete disaster. So, for now, my plan is to stay at a distance, use my light missile cavalry to pick off as many units as possible, while I comfortably sit with my army in this river area right here. However, as the inevitable infantry fight approaches, I will still stick by this area. I have a river, I have a forest. I can use the river right here, I can cross, but he cannot cross over here. I have a forest, meaning that I can use this forest to hide my units. And if I can hide my units, then he won't have the confidence to try and overburden one side, because he cannot calculate how many units, how strong I am on one side. On top of that, what I'm trying to do is really lure as many units as possible over to this other riverbank because if I can move some unit here, I can basically isolate a pocket. He cannot cross this part of the river, so that means he cannot reinforce from the main army over here. If he deploys any unit here, I can try to catch them and crush them by using my superior manpower on this flank. I can still reinforce should I need any reinforcement over to this area and then send them right back to this main line. If I can isolate small pockets and crush them, then it's game on. But this is just a plan. Let's see if I can actually apply this plan at the perfection. Because honestly, nothing short of perfection is what Saka needs to kill Macedon. Oh, I'm keeping on shooting with my horse archers. This one has taken quite some damage, but they killed a little bit. But I'm definitely not too confident right now because he's got all of these slingers right here and I can't, really, uh, I can't really get close enough to actually shoot anything. But as you can see, I already dealt a lot of damage to this uh, Thracian warriors. These ones are down to 257 and I literally wrecked this Macedonian light hope light. I'm trying to get some shot on this uh, Yera Hile. If I can kill some of it, would be great I need to just at least exhaust his um, HP but he's charging with the Tarantine cavalry this Tarantine cavalry is pretty fast uh, he's already killed three I should have should have retreated faster I'm shooting as well but I didn't kill anyone Royal squadron pushing what I'll do now yeah what I'm doing now is pushing my axis forth because he cannot push against this old place because he lose the cavalry but if he can get close enough for my axis to shoot their javis then then it's good, I, I basically annihilated one uh, cavalry unit. He's killed 10, but I killed six, so I guess it's almost even. This cavalry should not be here. This cavalry will be fucking destroyed by the javelin. Yeah. 
Well, never mind, they lost only six. They tanked a thousand Javis. <laughs> these Agrianian Axemen are way superior to this Saka Axemen. They will melt this Saka Axemen. He gets some very good shot on the rear of this Saka Axemen, but these are very cheap units, I don't care. He's shooting at my medium hope lights, that, that is good, but he messes up a little bit here. So I'm trying to chase him down and kill as many as I can, but so far I killed none, which is crazy because I killed one, okay. But this was a pretty good chase for me, but I should have killed more, but I didn't kill anything. Now I'm getting chased and I am losing units here. Look at that. I lost 10 and I killed zero. He's moving more cavalry over here and this is good. The moment I realize he's moving all of this cavalry right here, I'm gonna uh, I'm start pushing on this side because I know he doesn't have a lot, he only have one Royal Squadron here. This one is the one I shot, so it should die fairly easily. He still have his Slingers, his Slingers are going to destroy my cavalry as soon as they get close, unfortunately, but that's fine. I know the risks, I need to really get a victory and a decisive one too. The Slingers are shooting at my Axis, this is a waste of gel, uh, sorry, all stones, I guess. Now I'm pushing and he's falling back, he knows he cannot win. Here I'm using the cavalry to stop the retreat of these swords. This will probably route them, this will probably route them both. Uh, of course, this is the problem when you don't have any other infantry than hoplites for quality, then offensives or attacks are not going to be as effectively as they would have been otherwise. If I had my super heavy infantry here, probably it would have been better, but the super heavy infantry would have taken many more casualties than the hoplites, and I really want that sword units to be there for the, the end of the battle, because should I need some something to flank, I need those swords, because hoplites again are not going to break anything any day of the year, so <laughs> I should have avoided avoided this attack here. It's worthless. I should have used this cavalry to attack the slingers, and that's pretty much what I'm doing right now, I believe. Or maybe I'm just chasing this unit down. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm just trying to reposition so I don't have to push through this unit and lose a thousand soldiers, a thousand horses. His royal squadron is coming in here, and his Tarantine cavalry is charging over here. So I need to be careful with this. I made a mistake here, should have charged immediately, but instead I wanted a better, um, a better charge from the rear and now I lost the opportunity to chase down this Tarantine Cavalry. As you can see, I'm almost done with killing all of this. And as soon as this will be clear, this pocket will be clear, look at the balance of power, it's still not super good, but once this Agrianian Axeman will die, this will look a lot better. It's already looking a lot better. Uh, because this flank here is destroyed. I'm chasing units here, which is great. Look at this. One, two, and three units. If I manage to chase and kill all of them, it's a good, very, very good thing. I killed two units of uh, white shields. They only have 13 and 21 kills. Yeah, I'm getting charged, but I see he's starting to use his Pelta Spikes. And what it means is that I will now have to use my missiles to shoot all of these Pelto Spikes down, because if even one of these survives, then it's going to be extremely, extremely, extremely hard for me to win the battle if, in, if even one of these uh, Pelto Spikes is still there at the end of the battle. Over here, his Royal Squadron took massive casualties already, but my general is also, uh, well, my general's doing fine but I need to pull them out, I need this cavalry to pull out. I killed everything I could kill. 200 kills on this extremely cheap cavalry is a great amount of kills. But I couldn't invest on this flank, I couldn't keep on charging, not only because of course I wouldn't have reinforcement coming this way, but also because this flank would have been destroyed had I pushed my light cavalry over here together with some of the uh, swords I had. And even now the all plates, yeah, even the all plates are not coming over here to help. This is a crucial moment in the battle. I am doing pretty well. I have some kind of advantage over here. My all plates will fight for a thousand years and then eventually they will come on top. But um, over here I'm holding, which is good. I used all my arrows, all my archers to kill the Pelto Spikes to some effect, but I didn't manage to kill all the Pelto Spikes. Matter of fact, I barely killed 
50 over here, 20 over here, and I think, oh yeah, I killed 100 over here. So as you can see, I didn't really kill enough of these Pelta Spikes, although I used all of my arrows on them. Six missile units didn't kill any more than one unit of Pelta Spikes, which is crazy. It's definitely crazy. But over here I have a terrible hole I need to, uh, I need to fill. He's keeping on pouring units over, over here. I'm trying to do everything I, I can. I'm forced right now to use my cavalry to hold the line, which is definitely not a good way of using your cavalry. But this is also what you have to do when you basically have no infantry. Over here, I'm not going to uh, win because these plates are not good. Cavalry is reinforcing. He's gonna charge this Saka food arches. These are the uh, spear arches. I think he's gonna take massive casualties. He's not taking any casualty. Okay. <laughs> he's not taking any casualties. He's actually breaking the archers. But let's see. Yeah, now he's taking casualties. Look at this. In melee, they're, now they're dying super fast. Super fast. This royal. This is a royal uh, squadron. This is very heavy. But he's now dropping. Look at that. I mean, he might even kill my uh, archers. But still, look at this. He's down to 60 now. This hole in the center is a mess, but I will now uh, send something to protect these routing units and they will come back. Of course they are... I mean, the, the thing is, with Saka, all the units are extremely weak at start. Even if they come back, they will be completely useless, but at the end of the day they were useless already, so 15 kills on this. Unbelievable. Now this is a problem. This is a problem. He still have Pelso Spikes, which is crazy, because I shot him with six fucking missiles. However, he still have four Pelto Spikes. I basically wasted my uh, missiles trying to shoot his Pelto Spikes, because this, apparently these Pelto Spikes don't really take that many casualties. And I only have all plights. So this is concerning. This side is also pretty concerning. I'm not winning decisively. Uh, I'm just basically grinding the uh, the enemy, but eventually I will win, but this will take so much that even if I win, uh, it's not going to matter anymore. It's still got a lot of Thorax spears. It's going to be uh, very difficult to get rid of all these very good units, but I broke this Pelta Spikes with one good charge from my general, but now my general is exhausted, and look at this, I'm trying to pull him away, but he's so slow because he's exhausted, that even the two Royal Spears, that also are, no, well, they're winded, they are fucking murdering my general now. Yeah, well, not murdering, but they killed something. All right, one more Pelta Spike gone, uh, and this one is gone for good, so that is good. Uh, if I can kill his general, it's going to be uh, over for Macedon, but let's see, this, this general is definitely faster than my uh, Cataphract general, I need to save something, I will never catch this gen. But I need to stop him from going here, because if he goes here and he charges my elite Oplites, it's Jover for me. The balance of power is looking okay, it's kind of even now, which is crazy con considering this is Saka versus Macedon. But I need my general to get to work and kill as many as possible. I gotta get a good charge to, on this tourist and break him. But now this general, even if he got charged from the rear, is not routing. The Macedonian general is a crazy unit literally never breaking. He killed 399, 400 and counting and he's down to 70 and he's still not going. <laughs> he managed to win this uh, this little fight over here, uh, managed to kill one of the swords. I'm now free to use one of these indo Hellenic Coplites to reinforce this mess. I really don't have a counter to this very healthy Royal Pikes, but I'll have to figure something out. Look at that, my general is still... Uh, losing so many even if he's running he lost so many just running away from this tourists i might even lose the general he's wavering now all right he came back his general's still around i can't afford to lose my general but but yeah he definitely killed so many with uh, with the tourist spears that my general is now useless which is a pity because i think he's my only uh, cavalry unit i broke one Taurus here which is pretty good, but now I'm facing this Torx Spears. Some more Taurus is breaking over here, and I have a, one big other issue is that uh, his units are coming back. 
a lot of these units were broken by the cavalry, but now they are coming back, which is stupid. I have a lot of units, but nothing I can really charge. What I should have done here, um, and I think I realized it uh, too late. Oh, I'm going in here. I don't know if it's a good choice. But yeah, I killed one Thor sword. I almost... Yeah, I lost too many in this, in this charge. I should have charged. What I should have done here, or I'm realizing it now, I should have pushed everything over here where I had a, a kind, some kind of advantage. I should have cleared this pocket and wait for this to come to come back and then maybe I should I would have won this. The balance of power is now not looking in my favor again. It is what it is. I'm still I'm still confident. I still have the old plights and my general is still okay, I guess. I'm now going to charge on the steward swords and I think they're going to break eventually. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good boy. And then I'm going to maybe charge the stewards? No, I'm not charging the stewards, but they're breaking anyway. Okay, good charge with this general now here. That was good. Again, this is still crazy. It's still crazy because Sakai is such a poor faction. The only good uh, unit is really the uh, Hoplites, and the Zoplites are not good. So, and the Oplites are not good in general. The Oplites don't kill anything ever. All right, now my archers are charging here to uh, stop him. His cavalry's general is close. I think he lost the general route and then then he came back. I was trying to achieve something here, but I didn't achieve it eventually. I was trying to sandwich this unit, but uh, it's not happening. My archers just broke right away for absolutely no reason. Okay, what I think, okay, he's doing a very good thing here. He's uh, going to charge my hoplite. I will give the order to turn around, but they don't. And I think these all plates are as good as gone. This is the problem with all plates. Not only they are useless and they don't kill anything and they barely defend against anything else, but also if they are even slightly touched from the rear, they will die immediately. Now I give a good charge to this general and eventually I'm, I am going to break it. I hope, because this general tanked so much, it's really time for him to go back home for fuck's sake. My general is still alive. Let's see if I can if I can pull him out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Even if he routes, he may come back. And yeah, he routed. But he's so slow. He's so slow because he's exhausted. And this is the problem with the cataphracts. That he's basically walking instead of running. Which means he got slaughtered and he routed for good. And now, uh, of course, this Indo-Hellenic uh, hoplites will not have any problems because they are disciplined but everything else um, is gone actually so it doesn't matter at all i guess yeah okay everything i have is disciplined so i don't actually give a damn about my general routing and uh but the problem are now this pelt suspect because this is going well everything else is going well thorax spears are are not supposed to be a big issues for my opalites however um the Pelta Spikes is something I truly cannot kill. And what I'm trying to do is run away. I'm trying to... Uh, I should have maybe rear charged this, but yeah. He's gonna form a square here, but again, a square is good. Because even if he forms a square, then he's not killing anything, and I'm still killing him, so that's good. These two Hoplites killed so many. But again, they've been fighting from the very... They are probably among the first units who engaged in this battle and they killed a lot but most of the kills are on on this flank where he couldn't where he lost basically so this this old plights only had the best engagements they could have and still didn't manage to do what uh two ender would have done would have done on that on that side um now getting rear charged by the pelta spikes but the thorax spears are now are now routing. This is so tight. This is so tight. This hoplites are extremely good and they are disciplined. Okay, the spelter spikes are disciplined. Um, the storax spears are disciplined. Everything is, is disciplined, really. But now I have more units. The problem, the biggest problem, is that the pelta spikes alone, yeah, can probably kill everything because they're they're fast, they are deadly, and they have bigger and longer sticks which is a 
biggest issue for my uh, heavy uh, phalanxes here. He's forming defensive formation. Again, I should win this fight, even if it looks like combat even, but I should win that fight. But again, Pelter spikes are still a problem. I need to win this fight now and then try to uh, sandwich the Pelter spikes and maybe this can help. But this Hope Lights cannot run, cannot do anything, and they just got murdered by the Pelta Spikes. And Saka almost made it. Saka almost made it. But as of now, I really understand it's, uh, it's over. It's over. These Hope Lights are really trying their best to kill, but um, as you can see, I'm spamming the attack order to get him to kill as many as possible before the Spelter Spikes come and, and kill, but this, this Thorax Spears are now breaking. Look at this, they are now breaking. Will they break? No. But my old plates are now breaking and uh, should they route, this would be my last unit and they routed. Unfortunately, a costly enemy victory. Let's go through the battle results very quickly. Um, so my cavalry did very well. This cavalry is extremely cheap, 294 kills, it's pretty good. And also I was kind of forced to bring this cavalry because I was out of infantry. I couldn't bring any other infantry for Saka, so the spam rules was five. My general did okay. -ish. This light archer cavalry did very well. The uh, archers did extremely well, all of them, even the heaviest one. But once again, these archers are a thousand each, and this one is a thousand eight hundred. One of the most expensive units uh, of infantry in the game. The levy spears did nothing, but they are two hundred and they are useless. The uh, whole plates did okay. -ish. Uh, these all plates killed a lot, but of course these old plights are the ones who charged on the Macedonian flank that collapsed at the beginning. Levy Axis did okay. -ish. I think honestly these numbers are not really well representing what they did and I think what they, the best thing they did was shooting the Royal Squadron at the beginning of the battle. I think that's the best thing they did, even if they killed only seven. The rest, I think, I think they just chased the routing units. This extremely heavy spear melee infantry didn't do enough, in my opinion. 337, 286, but this three, they didn't do much. Of course, they had to face the Pelto spikes, so they, I guess, they got wrecked. His general made 505 kills. <sighs> But I know this general is capable of everything. His four slingers still did pretty well, considering though all the skills are on Axemen. So maybe these numbers are not good enough. Uh, Tyrius Swords did okay. The Agrianian Axis got wrecked. This one actually fought quite hard, even, uh, even if on the uh, losing side. This <laughs> Pelta Spikes got wrecked by my... Uh, by my archers, but they managed to survive, they still did a lot of kills, and they absorbed all of my ammo, literally all of my ammo. Galatian Thorax did okay, White Shields did okay, these two White Shields are probably the ones who got charged by my cavalry, this Light Spear got wrecked by my Missile Cavalry, Thorax Spears did okay, these two Thracian Swords also got wrecked by my cavalry on the losing side, and the Thereo Spears did okay -ish. Thank you guys for watching this, this battle. I um, Thanks to Asim for playing the battle with me. This battle was so much fun and it was so close. I was so close to win. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the video and see you the next time. Bye bye.